Hello and welcome to this edition of Edu Leaders Talk. Today we have with us Mr. Nagendra Goel, uh, the Deputy Commissioner at the Kendriya Vidyalaya Sangathan. Uh, Mr. Goel handles the entire academic administration as well as the IT deployment across 1,000 Kendriya Vidyalayas uh, in 25 zones across the length and the breadth of the country. Uh, <clears throat> sir, uh, you have got a fantastic uh, building. Uh, just on the entrance, it is really artistic in nature, which is very rare in the city of Delhi. Yeah. So, would you like to uh, tell us uh, who all and uh, uh, how this idea of uh, decorating the KV building came about? Yeah, actually, when did it come is really difficult to tell me. But I would like to share that this morale, uh, which has been seen by you there at the entrance, this whole work has been done by one of my, our art teacher only, okay. Mr. Shakil. He is uh, the drawing teacher in Lucknow. He is a wardy teacher, and he has done. We have provided the material, and he has done this job. Okay, okay. That's really fantastic that a teacher of the Kendriya Vidyalaya is doing it across. Uh, sir, we, we would like you to throw a bit of light about the IT preparedness of the Kendriya Vidyalayas, uh, because IT is something which is saying that uh, future education will be run on IT. So, what all is the IT preparedness of the KV schools? Yeah, I believe uh, that we are reasonably uh, prepared on as far as IT or e-governance issues are concerned. Uh, as far as connectivity of our 1,000 Kendriya Vidyalaya, I would like to share that almost every Kendriya Vidyalaya is having its own website. It is connected through broadband or otherwise. So 100% network connectivity is there, and there we are. Uh, almost all of our teachers are actually trained uh, on IT. Uh, through various partners like Microsoft and Intel and other uh, in-house expertise. Uh, most of our teachers are IT friendly and uh, we are well prepared for that. What kind of other educational technologies have been deployed across the KV schools? Yeah, so in addition to uh, these things, uh, I can say that we are having well furnished computer labs in all of our Kendri Vidyalayas. And uh, recently, uh, from last two years, uh, we are into uh, e-classrooms also. Mm -hmm. So the smart classroom has uh, become the order of the day in Kendri Vidyalayas also, where uh, interactive interactive board, projectors, and other uh, technological devices are there, which are empowering the teachers, and the learning has become uh, mm -hmm. more joyful for the children so it seems that the as far as the IT hardware is concerned KV is really equipped well yeah, what right. about the teacher generated content because learning is a fun in classroom when it is customized as per the needs of that particular geography or as per the need of the uh, particular segment of students which a uh, school represents so what kind of uh, interventions is KV doing in promoting its teachers to develop their own content, own digital content yeah. uh, to be displayed or to be disseminated through these IT tools. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, uh, these when, when we were deploying these e classrooms and uh, preparing these computer labs, we were also thinking that mother from where the content has to uh, what content actually we are going to have over this. Then it was decided that we will be using the expertise of our teachers. Mm -hmm. uh, for various reasons we, uh, we did it. Firstly, that uh, the teacher should have the ownership over the content. Mm -hmm. Lot of content was available in the market, but we thought that if we use uh, the expertise of our teacher, then that will give the ownership kind of the thing. And moreover, it will be having, uh, we will not be falling into the trap of uh, various other things like uh, we, we need not to go for the proofreading of the content because it will be made by our own teacher. Mm -hmm. So we need not to go for the scrutiny whether mm -hmm. the content is right or not, whether they are telling something wrong or not. So market content, we thought we will not be going for okay. that. And we then distribute this work to our teachers various regions were assigned the work and I can I'm happy that uh, in last two years we have developed enough content to present in uh, through these uh, technological tools mm -hmm. and uh, we have uh, more than 5,000 teachers had been trained on various kind of the technology tools mm -hmm. to create their own content so would KV would also be prepared to share this content with lesser privileged schools and teachers across yes uh, rather uh, continuously people are uh, telling us uh, this actually the KV should go beyond also and uh, we should be helping uh, uh, not only content even every uh, mm -hmm. infrastructure and all other facilities what Kendri Vidyalaya is having 
to the people those who are not having it mm -hmm. so uh, our we can say uh, we are moving out yeah we are uh, we are mm -hmm. uh, but no exact pathway has been defined by now mm -hmm. but definitely we are ready for that that mm -hmm. we will be uh, sharing this content with the people mm -hmm. uh, those uh, those who are in this in the, in the system <laughs> moreover moreover i would like to add into this they say uh, you may be knowing that ncrt has come up with noer mm -hmm. there is a huge repository which has been inaugurated recently by ncrt mm -hmm. and lot of content has been created on that so we have provided our content to ncrt also and ncrt is actually a further um, editing and modifying it okay. and ultimately they will be using giving a link of it on their noer also so kv uh, principals and kv teachers are being groomed as including excellent education in their nearby vicinities like uh, they are being channeled channelized over there there is no structured program for this okay. but however we always feel ki yeah but no uh, there is a need of it mm -hmm. that we can uh, extend our facilities to the mm -hmm. children mm -hmm. those who are not able to get that mm -hmm. and from many forum uh, many mm -hmm. officers minister ministry offices they 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 they, they are saying this that kb must uh, extend its uh, itself to those okay. people those who, who are not having those facilities the guiding beacon for guiding, them. Yeah, You, you are right. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. So, governing 1,000 uh, schools across the country, having 40,000 plus teachers and 11 lakh students, is a really mammoth task on your shoulders. Uh, what kind of e-governance initiatives are being uh, deployed, are being taken up by the Kendri Vidyalaya Sangathan? Yeah, this is something uh, where I can say, in spite of all uh, technology and uh, connectivity. Uh, e-governance in uh, is still we a lot of uh, things has to be done however we are uh, doing it partially but we can uh, we cannot say ki that uh, is still lot is lot is to be done mm -hmm. that much i can say that in e-governance we may not be having all the features of e-governance at, at present however many things we are doing uh, through automation mm -hmm. but still uh, much has to be done just in the framework of a school chain having 1000 schools what are the Mm, uh, core four or five modules which you think come under the purview of e-governance which will make the quality and access of uh, education at kendri vidyalaya sangathans really supreme yeah so by now uh, we have done uh, some modules in isolation some modules related to hr and finance mm -hmm. uh, we are having so uh, transferring of the teachers uh, their uh, field verification their salary disbursement and uh, so a kind of teacher life cycle is available some finance modules are there but still a lot is to be done as far as the child life cycle is concerned and other day to day activity of the child in the school is to be automated mm -hmm. and, uh, maybe library uh, management maybe attendance management and other uh, cc and other things uh, so we are working on that so innovation is something which is being seen as the buzzword of this era like uh, education or excellence in education has yeah. no meaning when every next day a new innovation is coming through what all is kv doing in that uh, perspective by making the next stage ramanujans ramans and raus yeah as far as innovation is concerned uh, if i say we are having uh, programs for the, we, we we are there Uh, to take it forward to motivate the children and the teachers we are having innovation awards also we have actually institutionalized the uh, award for innovation and experimentation for teachers mm -hmm. so those te whether they are you uh, know in innovations in teaching practices or we are they are uh, innovations in technology mm -hmm. so we are giving uh, every year 10 awards are being given to the teachers those who are coming with the some innovative practices in the education mm -hmm. or uh, any kind of technological tool or any kind of module if they prepare mm -hmm. in which uh, the life of a teacher can be made simple so those innovations are being awarded so definitely uh, we are continuously looking forward ki uh, people should use innovation to make the life of the teacher and the child in the school simple mm -hmm. what about the innovations at the student level uh, that is quite uh, of paramount importance uh, one of the biggest critic of uh, today's technology is like there is a mobile mania with the students at large and their entire creative energies are being dragged across so how kv is uh, working uh, countering this uh, menace and channelizing that energy into a positive direction well this is something really a uh, good food for thought i will take it <laughs> that uh, as such um, yeah it's a challenge actually you are right 
that uh, most of the time uh, uh, children are uh, when technology is there but technology is not being used to uh, mm -hmm. definitely create something new or to innovate uh, something useful sometimes they are wasting uh, internet is there but people do not know how to use internet and all that yeah we are doing some work we are sensitizing children how to use the technology for better betterment how technology can be a good friend to find out the ways of learning and other things uh, so I think, but it's still a lot is to be done, mm -hmm. I feel so. So being someone who has seen a lot of uh, educational governance solutions and teaching learning process automations and all, uh, when in an era when technologies are changing every day, new paradigms are coming, so what kind of a uh, whole matrix of a portfolio you are thinking, uh, uh, one single product s serving all your needs or a bouquet of services and products tied up as per your uh, customized needs uh, would probably uh, solve all your pr uh, challenges and needs of future as well. So actually uh, it will uh, it will be very difficult to say that uh, there will be one thing which will uh, solve every uh, problem of us because you see uh, we are so diverse system no system is as diverse as the mm -hmm. KV is mm -hmm. because uh, we, we are having diversity not only of uh, children, teachers, region, geography culture everything you see we are there in uh, Kanyakumari we are there in Ladakh we are there in Northeast we are there in the West far mm -hmm. West mm -hmm. so our problems are really challenging and uh, no one solution can fit into uh, but definitely a better uh, automation a better training to the teachers mm -hmm. And uh, training is really being thought of uh, that uh, it can uh, it it can go uh, far if we train our teachers on all those technology available. We te so we have to make the pace with the changing things, mm -hmm. changing scenario. Whether it's a teaching strategies, whether it's a use of the technology in the education, lot of training is to be given, and uh, we are focusing on that. We have recently tied up with the uh, various uh, training institutes. We are taking the help of the IGNU in training of our teachers one MOU has been done with them and we are uh, having other technological partners also as I mentioned mm -hmm. those who are helping us to train our teachers on various uh, technological and pedagogical issues mm -hmm. and CRT is there and many other uh, institutes are there so uh, we are continuously focusing on that but I do not feel that there will be one solution, one uh, we can say, uh, yeah, every day we find a new problem and a new mm -hmm. solution has to come up. So since you mentioned very heavily on training, uh, Engineering Watch has come up with a unique initiative called Engineering Watch EGOV campuses, where we have got engineering colleges across the country who are uh, assisting the government departments and other uh, people in their uh, e-governance challenges, uh, deploying technology, training them and helping them. So would KV be open to tie up with these EGOV campuses where their faculty and their students can come and lend their helping hand in what they have learned and so that a synergistic relationship uh, happens whereby the learning flows uh, both sides? Uh. Yeah, definitely as such if I say in principle KV is open to um, every good thing which uh, comes either f through the uh, education field or it comes from the field of industry, uh, industrial partner or any, mm -hmm. any other uh, uh, partner. But uh, so this, uh, so we are open actually, mm -hmm. but I can, I am not able to see uh, how these uh, students will be making the difference in our schools in uh, our and uh, but definitely we are open to all those kind of the proposals where our teachers can be better empowered and can be trained on technology and mm -hmm. I, I hope it is quite exciting mm -hmm. to hear that uh, college uh, students those who are uh, in engineering college and other they come to school and they motivate not only to I more um, uh, more of uh, training the teachers I feel if uh, they talk to the children mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it will be quite exciting mm -hmm. for children to talk to those people those who are already there mm -hmm. and uh, share their experiences in mm -hmm. the college mm -hmm. and can tell them how to mm -hmm. prepare themselves for uh, mm -hmm. not only to do better in the school and moreover to prepare themselves mm -hmm. for engineering college or professional colleges so it will be a good uh, to think about it yeah it's, it's, an, it's quite exciting no, that's really positive sir uh, sir taking this entire concept further engineering watch has also initiated a drive called engineering watch fellowships where we are planning to identify identify some 1000 ranchos, some out
out of the way innovative students and uh, making them the role model for the entire class of 10 lakh plus students of engineering uh, how do you think uh, in this fellowship uh, uh, these students will be mentored by one or the other industry experts mm -hmm. expanding their horizons and supporting them in multifarious fashions so how do you think that this fellowship uh, would be of uh, some relevance or importance to the students 11 lakh students across kv yeah uh, this is really something good uh, and uh, good to hear that uh, you have come up with some uh, design of this kind and uh, it is uh, really it will go a long way that if a child is being mentored by uh, narayan murthy or it's mentored by some icon of uh, uh, interest icon from industry or from any other reputed field so definitely it will make lot of difference in the life of the children and these 1000 children you see mentor uh, the role of a mentor <laughs> there cannot be any arjun without dronacharya mm -hmm. so i feel this is something great idea actually of uh, mentoring a child one to one mm -hmm. by such a iconic personality matlab who can simply change the uh, tide to any side if uh, so one life which is more than required i believe uh, the mm -hmm. size of the personality if you uh, what you are telling me Okay, from the industry or from such rep reputed fields, if it comes to that life of one child, mm -hmm. that definitely it will be having terrific effect on the life of the person. It's, it's really a wonderful idea. Yeah. So, last but not the least, what is the vision 2020 for Kendriya Vidyalaya Sangathan? What three key interventions you are planning and uh, putting all your energies to achieve it by 2020? Yeah, <coughs> uh, our vision for 2020 maybe KBS is. already as far as government system is concerned we feel ki matlab uh, we, we are we, we are being seen as a one of the pace setter edu, uh, educational system people look to us as whether uh, it's a ministry there and the government uh, or any other government system they always look forward about uh, our uh, various schemes our various ways our training programs and our inspection program school mentoring program so all that is being seen by the people uh, as a uh, uh, as an ideal for us what we feel uh, as you have said rightly to is very very difficult uh, at uh, at present uh, to tell you that what are the three priorities area maybe mm -hmm. but uh, still i feel uh, that uh, the education in 2020 will be quite different what it is our people say ki education is a kind of uh, field where changes are taking place uh, at the slowest pace uh, classrooms are not changing even for 100 years mm -hmm. uh, the way i was taught uh, our teachers are teaching today but i think now situation is changing mm -hmm. and classrooms are being changed mm -hmm. in the classrooms so uh, the one thing is this what i can say our priority is this ki our classrooms uh, will be a future classrooms our classrooms should be the world classrooms where whatever is happening in uh, at the highest level we want ki kendriya vidyalaya should uh, compete with all kind of world class education our classroom environment will be of that type our children definitely they are making impact on the society of uh, the country but they will further contribute into it and as you have said actually i am looking forward ki kendriya vidyalaya will be playing a uh, elderly role in uh, facilitating mm -hmm. uh, its facilities and other infrastructure to its other uh, schools or uh, the government schools which may not be having that much mm -hmm. so i think these three may be the uh, areas which we should take up thanks a lot sir for such a vibrant interaction so here we had mr nagendra goel the deputy commissioner at uh, kendriya vidyalaya sangathan headquarters uh, he is a real educational leader in the right earnest with the right passion in the field which will be shaping the lives and destinies of millions of indians in future we would be back with yet another exciting edu leader in our next edition thanks a lot thanks a lot sir oh thank you can we have a look also yes